What is going on, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Icarus after the new Frontiers patch. I figured, hey, we had a very successful live stream. Everyone's having a lot of fun. Maybe we want to see Icarus in a new light in 2023 with a fresh start complete. So there's been a lot of updates in the game since we last played. There's achievements. There's open world. However, let's take a look at character development from the very beginning because there's probably a lot of new people getting into this as well. So this is for all of you as well as maybe some good progression. Characters created, just did the quick little thing there. This is going to be our solo only character. So we're not going to take this into the open world with anybody. And it's just going to be us. Obviously, currencies are shared. So I'm just going to use that to our advantage and grab a couple things. A suit module slot, probably not for the first thing. I'm thinking to start myself off. I like convenience, so I want a pickaxe. So I'm going to research the pickaxe. I'm going to craft the pickaxe. Obviously, that's not costing any exotics yet. That's just Ren. I'm going to do the same thing for an axe. I like to start off with the tools. Cool. We'll get towards the better stuff later. A knife is always fantastic. The bone knives and the regular knives suck. They break so often. It's, it's so bad. Understandably so, but also just, you know, very annoying. Uh, this costs 300 bows probably going to be one of the next things i grab there's also a lot of new stuff too like there's a shit ton of seeds in here we've got some basic consumables you do have some extraction stuff as well the new hammers are in obviously some gadgets like a fire whacker who sets their houses on fire am i right modules which are very useful and of course armors are super useful as well so all things we're going to look into Ooh, a survival backpack i can get that early i'll take that what does this one cost 250 can't get that yet but we can do this i'll craft myself one of those so remember everything needs to be researched and then bought so we're going to no items currently covered oh i guess i can't set up my loadout here oh loadout there we go i guess not fine so we're gonna hit new we're gonna do missions okay Going to Olympus here. So the first one's going to be the Beachhead Recon. Welcome to Icarus, friend. So the extra rewards, like 50% rewards for extra challenge. 38 rent is nothing. So we'll just quickly just talk about this mission. It's nothing special. It's going to bring these with us. Confirm. No insurance needed. Again, this will be private because it's solo only. So no one can join and save us. But this is a very easy map right here that's going to start you off with just to get you accustomed to the game. So every mission starts you off with dropping down your pod. I like how I can just punch things from here now. What is... Oh, that's my head. You can also go into second player mode here. Or not second player, but, you know, third person view and you can see yourself before you used to glitch this so you can see outside the pods sad this looks super nice little screenshot welcome back to icarus everybody if you're loving icarus and you do enjoy this new fresh start series make sure you press that like button down below and leave me comments let me know as well it'll tell me a lot and making sure we keep this going if this is what everybody wants and of course we'll be delving into all the new missions as well but we need to level up first all right so i gotta go into my pod here grab my stuff and things thank you Put my stuff on my hot Go bar. Pickaxe, axe, and then my knife and doing? four. Right. Why is this already on the ground? Oh, That's we knocked trees down from when we landed. Great. So, always hard to see the mission, so I look at the sky for them. Well, so, we need to hunt, gather, craft. We need to gather some sticks, and then it's going to teach us how to make it a stone axe we gotta level up a little bit unlock the wood torch and craft it build a shelter with a bedroll and interact so you know just some basic things some of the easiest ways to level up in the beginning i know it's changed a little bit but wood cutting is pretty good especially uh just early because it's just fast experience i just suggest cutting the trees down not necessarily getting the wood i'm grabbing wood for our shelter that we're going to be going into but you can see here Upper left corner, I just got 300, 300 points for felling that tree. Careful, trees will hurt you if they fall on you and you can get the concussed modifier. So you can see 300 a pop, not too shabby. Other great ways. 
as you're running around, just keep pressing your interact button and grab shit off the ground. You know, as you're running around, I call this just it's it's actively passive XP. So as you're going, you're just gaining a little bit of stuff and things. And my personal favorite, some of the best ways to gain XP is by hunting. So when you get yourself a bow, so we're going to level up here. I'm going to follow the tech tree. So it starts us off with a few things. Very nice. It wants us to get the wooden rag torch and it's going to want us to build a shelter. So if you scroll all the way to the right, you can get wood building and thatch building. I'm going to go right into wood building F the thatch building. Thatch is nice for a little later when you're doing some things like getting ramps and stuff or maybe like if you're a little short on wood in some areas but generally speaking you don't want a thatch house it's exactly what it sounds like it's super weak it will not hold together and you're just better off chopping down some trees it's all available so obviously this mission a little easier for me than will be for you however when you start off just pick up these rocks like these right here pick up these sticks the first thing I suggest you get is a pickaxe so I'm just going to kind of do it like this. I'm not going to use the pickaxe to gather. Just going to show you how you would do it. Just like that. Grab these sticks here. Grab from bushes. Bushes also give you sticks. And then you're going to go into your crafting menu. You're going to make yourself a pickaxe. Now let's just say you didn't grab enough stone yet. So once you get that pickaxe, then you'll just harvest the stone nodes. Easy peasy. Make yourself a hatchet. Good stuff. That's complete. I need to make a sofa torch. And then we need to build a shelter and a bedroll. The bedroll is going to require some uh, leather. Let me go to the tech tree here. Let's see. Where is bedroll? Bedroll's up here. So we got to get campfire, then bedroll. You always need a campfire in order to sleep as well. So if we look in our crafting now, we can see bedroll is going to require some fur and leather, which means we're going to need to kill something. So easiest way to do that, it's a bow. So that'll be some of the next points we grab when we level up again. Also, we have some talent points. How much wood do I have? I probably have plenty of wood. Yeah, I got like 300 wood. That's plenty. Don't need any more than that. Going to the talent tree here. You have two separate trees. You've got your main tree, which has completely broken down skills. And then you have your solo tree. You get solo points as well when leveling up. They're completely independent from the regular talent points. So don't worry about which way to spend them. And, but you can only use those when you're playing by yourself. So hence solo only. I'm going to go into, you know, I probably don't really need damage right away. So I'm going to go into something I really like, which will be getting the yield from mining iron and carry weight, but as well as carry capacity. So I'm just going to grab this first. So I'll gain a little bit more stone. Very nice. Ooh, corn's also a fantastic way to level up. Like, it's 25 XP, and look at all this freaking corn. Time to grab corn, baby. All right, I think you get the point. I got bored of that. Obviously, when I say it's fantastic, I mean it's easy, okay? That's coffee right there, too. All right, so that's just what I mean by fantastic. I still prefer the woodcut method because you can chop down trees pretty quickly. E even with the with the hatchet you can see the damage is only slightly less than the hatchet i bought from the exotic store so 25 is still chopping down things pretty quickly and you know the thinner the trees the better you don't gain more xp for getting the thick boys so just make sure you're just chopping things down i like this way to level up kind of fast in the beginning here in the forest it works out well, and then we can get to level two this way, grab ourselves a bow, some arrows, and then we just kind of murder everything in sight. <laughs> There's the level up, so I'm gonna go into towns. We also have a solo talent. I like stamina first. Some people might like getting the health bonus if they're dying a little bit. The movement speed, also super good. However, I like stamina in the beginning. We're going to be like crafting a lot, doing a lot of gathering, shooting. So I really want that. And then I'm going to go for carry capacities here to level us up. And I care more about the reduced encumbrance penalty because that's kind of the build I'm going to go for. I doubt they've changed much on it. So with that, we'll be able to just harvest a shit ton. So let's go to the tech tree here. I'm going to grab myself the bow, the arrows. 
And I've got one more skill point, so I'm probably just going to hold off for a moment. I'm not sure what I need yet. I can see a creature out there, so perfect timing. Let's build a bow. Let's build some arrows. Crafting is also a fantastic way to level up. You can see the arrows, eight experience a piece, and it's passive because you'll do it in your pocket. So you can take your pickaxe, grab yourself a bunch of rocks, and then as you're going around crafting yourself bandages with fibers or just some quick arrows is also just some really good early XP. Mining also you can see is pretty decent. You're just getting 30 per whack. Not terrible, not great. It's not as good as the trees again, but you know, it's something just different ways to, to go about it. And now I'll just craft up, oops, I'll craft up 48 of those. Now I've got plenty of arrows. I'm gonna throw my bow on seven because that's where it belongs. Crouch and headshot. Okay, well that was that was a booty shot, but you know you, you got the point. Crouching gives you a stealth bonus. Look at that fish. Bam. Crouching gives you a stealth bonus of two and a half times damage, and if you're gonna get the kill, you'll get that slow kill feed like we just saw. That nice kill cam. Kill cam is one of my favorite things in this game, besides the graphics, of course. And now we're going to get some fur, some leather. So we're going to need to kill a little bit. Make sure you get the bones. Bones, super good stuff. And this first mission, wouldn't pay too much attention to it. We also have a storm incoming. There's a lot of weather in this game. And weather adversely affects us. So I'm just going to kind of walk around this watering hole. I just want to find creatures to kill, like this guy. Bam. Hi, buddy. You can see that was 600 experience for killing a large deer. So again, nice experience. That's why when I go around, I just grab these. So I'm just going to build ourselves our small house here. And then we just have to interact and touch launch my drop ship. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of exploration here. So let's just build uh, two floors. Six walls. Oh, I need more fibers. Fibers just come from bushes. If you get yourselves a bone sickle. Fibers will be very easy to get and you know what not a bad thing to grab so I will just grab it for us here grab a bone sickle craft that up we've got bones from killing creatures now bunch of wheat here too wheat's a good little farm and you can see ooh, a little lag there that'll be plenty so now I'm gonna make myself six of these and then I'm just gonna make like four of those and a bed roll. Oh, I need, oh, I need one more leather. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's go find a creature to kill. Creature. Goodbye, friend. This is why I'm not worried about leveling up the bow skills in the beginning. I and mean, you're just doing these early on maps like this in the base game. Levels aren't too crazy, so you're gonna one-shot, headshot most everything out here. I just gotta figure out where that corpse was. Hello, buddy. Thank Where'd my mouse go? Thanks for the goodies. Don't really care about anything else right now. I'm just gonna throw all these in my hotbar. Craft a bedroll. Throw down a quick little... Oopsies. Little shelter here. Forget was it X? Y? It was Y. And then uh, what is it? Variance is R. I'm gonna make a door. Cool. I'm not gonna bother putting the door on. It's not gonna matter for what we're doing here. Well, yeah. Oh well, yeah. Just that's fine. Good enough for me. I'm sheltered. Oh wait, now I'm sheltered. Not sheltered. Sheltered. It's okay. And I'm going to place a bedroll. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, and this is just to fi finish the quest. I suggest you sit here and play for a little bit. It's not a bad idea. But that's all we needed. And make sure if you use your bedroll, you just hold F so you can make sure to respawn there when you die. Otherwise, you're going to come in on a fresh drop pod. That's it for this mission here. Quick little intro. So we're going to continue on into the next one. Let's head to the drop pod and get back up to our ship back to the pod make sure you have your mx items on you when you do start taking these places if you leave them in your chest you're not gonna bring them home with you so just make sure they're in your inventory or in the drop ship cargo exotic extractions now completed through orbital exchange neat okay 
Workshop items in your dropship or inventory will be delivered back to the station. There you go. So let's just return to the station. So just make sure you don't leave your items in a chest. Like what you'll start to see happen commonly is like, oh, you're going to break your items on longer missions. But if you bring your broken item back to the ship with you, it gets fixed automatically. So it's not worth it to leave them behind. So we're back to the main world. Obviously we gain two levels. You start off as level zero. So brothers and sisters, we're gonna call this one here. So as usual, until next time, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.